be the last St. Martin vlog because we're only here for a couple more days. Today's Thursday and we leave on Saturday afternoon. I haven't vlogged in a couple days but I thought that today was a good day to pick up the vlog camera again because mom and I are going snorkeling this morning. Um, it's only it's 8 45 right now and our snorkel starts at 11 30 but it's in an area of St. Martin that I don't think we've ever been to. It's called Anse Marcel and anyway it looks like a really beautiful area so I think we're gonna head over there shortly so that we can explore a little bit and see what it's like over there before our snorkel trip starts it's been a really nice morning so far mom just ran down and got us some croissants from royal croissant which is so good the croissants there are insanely delicious just like the plain ones i never eat plain croissants but the ones from there are so amazing i just put a little bit of cheese on mine and i'm having this for breakfast just like a cheese croissant i don't know what could be more french than that but we are on the French side of St. Martin after all. So she also picked up a beautiful baguette so we can have that later. We bought some cheeses and stuff as well. So maybe we'll pack that to have for a little snack or lunch after our snorkel trip because it's going to be kind of long. And also a little, I think this is a chicken sandwich on the baguette. I love staying on the French side. It really does feel very French, very, very European. The Dutch side is also European obviously as well, but it just feels a little bit more Americanized than it does over here. Like even the outlets here are the European outlets. So you have to have a, um, what's called adapter for them. Just like little things like that that just feel a lot more European. And then also just, I feel like way more people speaking French over here than over on the Dutch side. And I'm saying it like it's really far away. It's like a 10 minute drive or less to get to the Dutch side from here. It's just a very interesting thing about this island is that it's like split. But anyway, I think I'm gonna get a little bit of work done on my computer for the next like 40 minutes or 30 minutes until we head on over to Anse Marcel and I'm excited to take you along on our snorkel adventure today and then whatever we get up to the next couple of days that we have left here on the island. I'm feeling a little bit weird about leaving. Like I love it here so much and we felt so comfortable and at home since we've been in this Airbnb especially and I've just gotten so used to it here. So I am excited to go home. Like I miss my bed. I miss my coffee machine, like a lot of things from home. I'm really excited to get back to you, just like into my routines and stuff like that. But it's a little bittersweet because I love it here so much and I really feel at home here. Maybe we'll be spending some more time here soon. I don't know, it just depends on Josh's work and stuff, but things are going well. So we might be back before we know it. We, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, we're about to head out the door and I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing for our little snorkel excursion. So I've got on my little Hunza G one piece of swimsuit under here. It's the comfiest, most high quality swimsuit ever. I love it so much. And then this is the Amazon set that I've been wearing so much on this trip. I've really gotten my money's worth out of it. I think it's like $40 and it's in the apricot color. It's definitely oversized, but it shrinks a little bit in the wash. So I feel like this is good. I think this is a large. Um, but I love it. I've worn it so much. I've even worn the top separate from the bottoms. Like for Valentine's Day, I wore my Abercrombie athletic dress and I just popped this over the top and it looked really, really cute. So that's what I'm wearing. And then I just have this giant tote bag from Ishkaret that I am going to bring with all of the things that we need. Towels, water, a dry change of clothes in here because I think we're going to be out most of the day. Also my makeup bag because after snorkeling, if we want to like get refreshed or whatever before we go to lunch. Um, just have everything that we need. I did my hair in these little pigtails and slicked back because it really needs to be washed and I wasn't gonna wash it before we go snorkeling. I did these little braids and so did mom because I feel like it's the best way to keep your hair tangle free if you're like doing water sports and things like that. So that is our look today. Me and mom are gonna be twinning in our little pigtails. I think it's cute. The sun has really come out since a little bit earlier this morning. It was looking kind of stormy, but it's looking nice and clear now.
Marcel Beach. It is so beautiful here. I can't believe we've never been to the side of the island. We have like 30 minutes before we need to go meet um, the instructor at the marina. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit until it's time to go and then probably after our snorkel we'll come back to this beach and Sorry. enjoy it. Don't even. We're it doesn't little... matter because I saw octopus, or should I say octopi, because there was only one. No, octopi is if you see more than one, I think. No. <laughs> yeah. Oct we saw an octopus. I saw lionfish. We saw the most uh, amazingly vibrant, like millions of kinds of other fish, parrotfish. But did you see my nails? Beautiful blue fish. Yeah. <laughs> the, the fish were attracted to her blue nails. <laughs> it made them feel very welcome. <laughs> She's obsessed. Mom got a manicure the other day and she only ever gets neutrals. And I was like, you need to do a fun color. And I picked it out and she said yes. This one is a lime passion fruit. Rum. Mm. I thought it was gonna be like a rum punch, not a straight up yeah. rum. Yeah, straight it's up delicious, flavored though. rum. <laughs> we just go back to the marina. We're detangling our hairs. It was such a good snorkel sesh. We had so much fun. So it was like an only an hour and a half total excursion. That was maybe two hours, but yeah, mom has mask imprints on her face. Mine's fine. I did bring my way detangling spray because it's the only thing that really helps. But after we get these tangles out, I think we are going to go to Captain Frenchie, which if you watch the other vlog, we were at Captain Frenchie as well. It's just such a wonderful place. They've got great food great beach and it's really beautiful for sunset. I don't know if we'll stay there till sunset time, but maybe Josh will want to meet us there when he finishes work today. I haven't been snorkeling or scuba diving or anything like that in a really long time. So it was really fun and special to do it with mom. Okay, hair is just gonna be a slick back bun today because that's the easiest thing and also it really needs to be washed. So I don't really have another option. We are probably gonna go ahead to Captain Frenchie. Look at this craziness on my face. I need to get this zapped off. It really pops out when I'm in the sun a lot, which obviously I have been on this trip, but. She's taking pictures of that iguana at the end of the dock. He's pretty huge. Mom said, what if he came after us? What would we do? <laughs> I honestly don't know. I'd jump in the water. Oh, he could jump in the water too. Yeah, that's even worse. treated me to these amazing Ray-Bans because they were give, doing buy two get one free sunglasses at this nice store. If I was really nice, you could have got two and I would have got one. <laughs> Mom got like a pair exercise. of Maui, are they both Maui gyms the ones you got? Yeah. Two Good pairs of boating. Maui gyms. I was shocked that Maui gym is more expensive than Ray-Ban. I love them. From our face to the case. Yeah, we were just ha having a little pep talk about taking care of our glasses, not losing them, not letting them get scratched. From our face to the case. We also stopped and got a little tr sweet treat at the French bakery here because the sunglass shop was closed for 15 minutes when we got here. They had like a little lunch break or something. So we had a little sweet treat break, got a little coffee and a lovely little tropical patisserie. It was so yummy. It was like mango, passion fruit, pineapple, mousse thing. And now we are heading to Grand Coss. I think we're gonna hang out at Captain Frenchie, get a little bite to eat and just 
enjoy oh, being like, on the beach. Here's what? a love shop. You, you want to walk in there and see if they have pants? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we <laughs> we can't no yeah <laughs> we can't make it to the beach because um, there's too many nice things on the way to the beach and we want to do more shopping. That's how we roll. And love is a store that we know, so that we love. That we love <laughs> for sure. Mom got us some matching St. Martin bracelets. Very cute. Walking down the street has SXM beer. I wonder where he works. They must have SXM beer there. We are having the most amazing day. We just got all comfy and set up at Captain Frenchie's. We ordered some drinks and we're about to order some appetizers. Oh, yeah. And just chilling on the beach. It's quite special. This is called a BBC. It's a Bailey's banana and coconut cream. And I guess they put some chocolate on the bottom, which I wasn't expecting, but it looks quite decadent and delicious. I'm gonna try it now. Yum. Mom brought the whole cheese tray into her lap. <laughs> like room service but on the beach. I love, 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 love. We are living our best lives. We are showered, letting my hair air dry. Mom's looking fabulous. And she just bought this dress today. Just in the back. Oh, the place. Calmo's Cafe. <laughs> it's a full on fashion show. Josh is looking very handsome. You gotta show me too. Is that lighting doing things horrible to me? No. It's nothing new, but very comfy and cute, I think. I personally believe. here on the island it's our last official full day here we leave tomorrow afternoon so it's our last full day um, we had such a good dinner last night at Moroccan I know I vlogged quite a bit but I just wanted to say it was incredible the ambiance is so beautiful it feels like you're 
it's so loud outside. It feels like you are transported to Morocco. It's really, really cold. The food was absolutely delicious, but it was a very long dinner. So we got home pretty late and then it's actually only like a two minute drive from where we're staying, but we were just there kind of late because we didn't start dinner until like eight o'clock. So we crashed last night, had such a good sleep after our day in the sun yesterday. And this morning, I just walked down the marina to the little croissant royale place. They've got the best croissants, the best fresh squeezed orange juice. So I got me and mom some orange juices. I already finished mine. It's so good. And now mom and I are going to spend the day at Pinnell Island. Josh is going to meet us there as soon as he gets off work. He's doing like a half day today. So he should be able to meet us there around like two o'clock. Mom and I are taking the ferry over to Pinnell Island, which is this little island nobody lives on it it's just there there's like one little maybe one or two little restaurants there it's very small but it's a very natural beautiful island and the water there is just so stunning and it's like stays quite shallow really far out so you can like really just enjoy chilling in the water for a long time so yeah mom and i are about to head over to the ferry which i think is like 10 15 minute drive from here and then when you take the ferry over it's only like a five or ten minute ferry i think it's a five minute ferry they said and the ferry runs every half an hour back and forth and the last ferry brings everyone back at 4 30. so we'll be back on the mainland of st martin for sunset and for dinner so i don't know if we have a plan yet for dinner tonight but we'll figure something out so that's the plan for the day excited to take you along yesterday was so magical and fun i don't know if i even explained how much fun we had yesterday just such a good girly mother-daughter day shopping snorkeling all the fun things enjoying the beach the cheese plate we had at captain frenchie's was so amazing one of the best cheese plates i've ever had in my life so that was really fun and the sunset was really gorgeous um and then dinner was so fun it was just like honestly the perfect day yesterday i had so much fun okay we're gonna have a little bite to eat here and then get i need to gather my things together for the day and then we're off to pinnell island spot in the shade it's so cute we got our pina coladas and we didn't re not realize we have to reserve chairs here so <laughs> we didn't make a reservation and it's very busy but this is kind of perfect and ideal because look the water is right here absolutely ideal we have a little spot in the shade it's been so nice reading a little bit we are on the caribouni side so there's two sides of Pinnell and caribouni I think is a little bit like nicer of the area but I have to say yeah it's like prettier over here and you're closer to the water on your chairs but yellow beach pina coladas are 10 times better I have to say so anyway okay you've been you've been acting a fool this whole time behind me yep okay
we've come to Kalatua, we're all packed up, and we came to Kalatua, our favorite little spot, one of our favorites, for our last morning. Um, they don't start serving food until noon, and it's like 10.30ish right now, almost 11 actually now. So, we're just gonna chill, I'll probably read my book. We just ordered some drinks, and our lunch is on its way. <laughs> we didn't know, well I knew that mine was gonna come in this cute cup, but Josh's came as like, this giant coconut bowl with a straw in it, and it's like ice cream and so liquid around it, and it's the most delicious cocktail I think I've ever tasted in my life. It's like coconutty, like very coconut heavy, and then it has orange cream. It's kind of like orange creamsicle, but coconut. It's so good. It's one of those orange creamsicle popsicles you used to have as kids. Orange on the outside, you got the vanilla on the middle, but then you got the booze. So it's, it's like, like a like liquid version, but still icy so and. Good. Creamy, oh my gosh. I'm really, I have major jealousy. It's like a full-on bowl too. It's not, it's not like a small glass. It's huge, it's huge. Cheers, bubs. Cheers. Yes. Our lunch has arrived. We've got the signature salad. It looks so beautiful. It's got shrimp, mango, avocado, cucumber, all the delicious things. And sweet potato fries. They're really good. I had them last time when I was here. We're on our way to the airport. We're heading out. It's another rainy day. It's funny. It was raining when we arrived and it's raining when we're leaving, but it hasn't really rained much at all since we've been here, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, it's been the most amazing, wonderful, magical trip and all good things must come to an end, but I'm so excited to get back in home to our bed, to our routines and actually have a fun trip coming up uh, in like less than a week from when I get home. So it'll be more of a chill trip, like a road trip, but with the girls, so I'm very excited about that. I hope that you've enjoyed these St. Martin vlogs. I'm hoping that we might be back here sooner than we think, or sooner than later, because, you know, Josh works here now, apparently. So we're heading to drop off this rental car, head to the airport, and then we'll be home in bed by like 10 p.m. tonight, which is just perfection. Thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you in another vlog very, very soon. Bye.